Merriam-Webster defines focus as a center of activity, attraction, or attention, a point of concentration. And it's not a bad definition. I suggest the focus is whatever answers the question, what are you most passionate about right now? If you don't feel you're passionate about anything, keep in mind it's what you're most passionate about. There's always something slightly in the lead. If you still can't think of anything, perhaps you're passionate and focused on having a clearer, more articulatable passion. That would be your focus. It's easy. It's so easy. Life gives you all the tools. Uh, what is everyone extremely sensitive to? Pleasure, for sure. And perhaps more commonly in our cities recently, pain. Think about it. What's making you miserable right now? What's holding you back right now? What's vaguely irritating to you right now? What topic or issue is sensitive to you personally? Money? Relationships? Health? Sexuality? Creativity? Productivity? Something else altogether? Whatever is the most dire and looming over your head, its opposite is probably your best focus. If you never have enough money, your current focus is providing value. Society loves and supports those who provide value to them. Society throws money, energy, and support to those who provide value, period. If your relationships are falling apart, your focus is social growth and connection. Your focus is to accept others, love others, and understand their viewpoint. If you're able to accept someone, love someone, and understand their viewpoint as a human being, with their own thoughts and feelings, they'll love to relate to you. If your health is deteriorating, your focus is attuning to your body. Your focus is listening to your body's signals. If it tells you to vent or scream into a pillow or speak up, do it. Don't repress it. Do you run around working in a cubicle 9 to 5, commuting home and squeeze in a, a barely digested meal? If that doesn't feel good, make a change. Listen to your body. Now, I mean, if that feels great, more power to you. Rock on. And all these areas interrelate. If one of them is a major block, you can focus on that, change it, and all the other ones improve. Or if it seems too big, you can focus on one of the minor ones and watch it ripple back and help the more dire issue. Oh, there's so much. Abraham Hicks have a tool called Focus Wheels. And you can get a sexier, high-res version of them for free download at spiritsension.com. And they are absolutely stunning tools for focusing. Uh, Steve Pavlina has an article called How to Discover Your Life Purpose in About 20 Minutes. It's really easy to find. It's really easy to follow. And it's fantastic. Uh, just Google it. Dr. Joe Vitale, the inspiring Mr. Fire, has a process called Zero Limits, which I've not tried personally, but if it's anything at all like other valuable products Joe puts out, you can't go wrong. Basically, I'm talking about focus to help everyone focus on their own personal focus. <laughs> this all came up from a poll I put on Spirit Ascension, asking people what the main focus in their lives were. The overwhelming answer was... They didn't really know. I translated this to mean that everyone's main focus was becoming more connected to their own personal focus. So, focus, focus, focus. And always, I remain forever grateful to everyone who supports Spirit Ascension, or ever supported Spirit Ascension, or ever will support Spirit Ascension. Thank you all so much. Keep rocking. Shape the world. Do what you love. Take care.